Okay, so in a previous video I talked about arranging objects inside of a panel in a frame using uh, Java without a visual editor. I used grid bag layout for that and oftentimes you don't want to use grid bag layout because it is pretty confusing. You have to set your insets and all that. So if you are trying to make a basic program with a couple buttons or whatever, then you can just go ahead and use our um, grid layout. So grid layout is very similar to the grid bag layout actually and it is uh, it is much easier to use than the grid layout and so I'm gonna show you how to use the grid layout here so here we go so I'm gonna start off by creating our main and I'm gonna create a new frame in there okay so I created a frame and now we're going to see the difference between the grid bag layout and the grid layout. So if you understood the grid bag layout, the grid layout should actually be pretty simple. And so the main difference is that the grid layout is just like the grid bag layout, uh, separates the frame into a uh, grid. And our grid in the grid layout has to have the same uh, size rectangular cells inside each um, grid. So I'm going to create here a panel. Okay, now once I create the panel, I can uh, do p panel dot set layout, and we can go new grid layout. So you see here that the grid layout has a couple of um, constructors, and so like I just said, the grid layout uh, separates the frame into rows and columns, equally sized rows and columns, and it places components inside these rows and col inside the rectangular cells that form in these rows and columns. So for the constructor we have rows and columns. Either you can have that or you can also put H gap and V gap. Okay, so we're gonna use this here, this constructor, and we're gonna put the rows as three, and we're gonna put the columns as four. So we're gonna separate our window into three columns four rows. So H gap controls the gap between or the horizontal gap between each uh, component or cell in the grid layout. So we'll put this as five and the vertical gap we'll put as ten. So now we have our new grid layout made and we're gonna go ahead and import that and now, okay, so we've made this. Now what we want to do is we want to create some labels. So J label label is e or label one is equal to new J label and I'll call it hello and I'll go ahead and, and make well we have to fill up our whole grid so I'll go ahead and make 12 of these. Okay, so I made tw uh, 12 labels and a couple buttons in there as well and they each say, well, they're pretty much the same thing. I'll just change some of them up. So now, what we want to do is we want to add to our um, our panel here, which adds to a frame. So actually here, the order in which you add them really matters, just like it does with grid bag layout. And so since it's placing them into the cells inside our frame, so these equally sized cells it's going to add them either right to left or left to right. You can set which way it adds them by going panel dot set component orientation and you can go component orientation uh, component orientation dot right to left or left to right. See? So let's go right, so let's go left to right. So all that's going to do is it's going to go from starting from the left side all the way to the right. So leftmost row on row one to the right. So, so you see here I've made our uh, grid. So when I do left to right, it's going to add this as one. It's going to add two, three, four, and five, and so on. So it's going to add all 12 of them like that. And you see if I did right to left, it would start here at one. This would be two. This would be three, four, five, and so on. So that really matters. And now we're going to add according to that order. So panel dot add label 1, panel.add, label 2, and so on. Okay, now we've added all 12 of them on, and so, well that's pretty much all we have to do. We have to add frame.add panel, 
we go ahead and add our panel to a frame and we already added our uh, grid bag layout to our panel and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it so you run the program and you see here so each one has a different or, or the same size but some vertical distance between them so you can see it's similar to this one there's four rows and three sorry three rows four columns and each one has the same size you see in this one there's a little space between them that is because of this H gap and this V gap that I added here and so that's the basic idea so right now I'm just gonna go over a couple more concepts and um, okay so I'm just gonna talk about a couple more things here and actually just one more thing that I want to say quickly if uh, if you don't know how many rows you're gonna have or how many columns you're gonna have when you're starting the J the grid layout you can actually just put here instead of 3 4 you can just put 0 4 or 4 0 it'll then just assume that you have any number of rows here and four columns so for here you have zero or any number of rows four columns okay so that's pretty much it and if you leave these at zero zero then it assumes that you have an an infinite or as many amount of rows as you put and zero columns so that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to say about grid layouts grid layouts are useful when you're uh, creating a simple program quick program and you can set the layout quickly but it's not as powerful like, as grid bag layout because you can't have these individual rectangles as different sizes say you want to have one label in the middle here that's huge you can't have that it has to it's limited to what it's it's giving you if you wanted to have that you would have to start up a uh, grid bag layout and set uh, set size and set X set Y and all that so quickly going over what we did in this video we looked at grid layouts which is similar to grid bag layouts but not as flexible it uses uh, it divides the frame into equally sized rectangular uh, cells and it places components inside these cells so we created a grid bag layout here this 3 is the number of rows this 4 is the number of columns 5 is the pixel uh, distance between the horizontally and this is the distance vertically so we created a panel and we added these labels in this fashion and uh, we made these labels some buttons and so we set the orientation left to right so that obviously ch uh, checks if uh, the numbering starts at the top left or the top right and then we added it in this fashion it goes into a it divides the frame into this and it goes from 1 to uh, 12 and it adds it in this order left to right and each has a has the same amount so that's pretty much it you can use grid bag layouts for a lot of cases and you can use grid layouts for a lot of cases but that's all I wanted to say